everyone, welcome back to Avoid Saying the Same Thing as Me, Percy Jackson Edition. And yes, I've done many of these, but they're very fun, so you better keep playing along. All right, you know the rules, but let's go through it real quick. I'm gonna give you five prompts slash questions. You're gonna give me an answer for each one. I'm gonna give you an answer for each one, and if we ever say the same answer for the same question, then you're out. And these are only gonna be dealing with the five main Percy Jackson books. I'm not talking about the spinoff, Chalice of the Gods. I'm not talking about Wrath of the Triple Goddess, which by the way, comes out tomorrow which is pretty awesome. I'm not, I'm not talking about those two books. I'm talking about the five Percy Jackson books, the five OGs. All right, all that being said, let's get started. Question number one, name one demigod that appears in any of the five Percy Jackson books. It can be a one-time off character. It can be a character that appears in every book. You choose. And honestly, if you get out on this one, if you don't make it through this one, it's pretty impressive because there's so many demigods. You should make it through this one. All right. Got your answer locked in? Everyone, I'm going with the traitor, Selena Beauregard. If you said Selena, then you're out. All right, number two, name any human character that appears in any of the five Percy Jackson books. And I'm talking about a human character with a name. It can't It can't be the pizza guy that, that gets lost at Camp Half-Blood. It can't be that guy. It has to be a guy or, or a girl with a name, okay? A named human. All right, locking your answer. Yeah, guys, I'm going with the mother of Luke Castellan. May Castellan, you said May Castellan, you're out. Sorry about the delay there. I was, I, I'm, I actually thinking of these answers as I'm saying the questions. I don't have my answers pre-prepared. I'm thinking of them on the fly. All right, number three, name any magic item that appears in any of the five Percy Jackson books. I'm not gonna give examples because then you'll probably use that if I say it, but you know what I mean. Any item that has magic qualities to it that, that maybe a character uses. Lock in your answer. Everyone, I'm going with Annabeth's cap of invisibility. If you said that, then you're out. All right, number four, name a city that any quest team visited the entire time in any of the books. Just name a city that a quest team went to in one of the books, whether it was intentionally or non-intentionally. All right, lock in your answer. Guys, you know I have to do it. I gotta go with the most iconic one. I'm going with St. Louis, Missouri. If you said St. Louis, then you're out. If you really think I wasn't gonna reference the most famous scene ever, the arch scene, then you're crazy. All right, and finally, number five, if you made it through the other ones and you make it through this one, then you win the game and you knew that this question was coming. Tell me one of the five Percy Jackson books. Very, very simple, yet very difficult to get through. 20% chance of losing here. All right, lock in your answer. You should have had enough time by now. Guys, I'm going with the worst book, The Sea of Monsters. If you said The Sea of Monsters, then you're out. All right, let me know in the comment section how you did. What did you put for each answer? Did you make it through the entire video without saying the same thing as me? Let me know all that in the comments.